In all the videos I've done, I've covered a lot of things. Everything from functionality, to being able to replace Windows, to being able to replace Mac and jumping over to Linux and not missing a beat except for a few applications. But one of the things that I really like to cover sometimes is the customization of distributions. Now this can be hard for some people and it can be easy for others, especially those that have been on Linux for a long time. But what about those people jumping over now? What about those people that want to make changes but really don't want to mess their system up? I've got an answer for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at a distribution that makes it as easy as one click to change the entire look of your system and then gives you an easy way to change themes and cursors and icons and things like that. Now the distro that we're looking at today is Makulu Shift, which comes with eight different layouts pre-installed. Now, if you do decide to donate or support the project like they ask you to, you can get an additional eight, which gives you a total of 16 different layouts. That's up to you. Remember, donating is up to you. If you like the project, you can donate to it. And then you can come down a little bit. It's got download links. It shows you that they got a Makulu Linux Droid download. And then you've also got download links for that. And then you can come back down to the bottom and you can connect with him on all of social and Discord and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll up to the top. I'll be sure to include the link to this web page in the description below so you can go over and get more information if you would like. But right now what I want to do is generally I go directly to the desktop. But Makulu Linux has done something really great. Before you even start the distribution, if you open it up in a live environment or in a virtual machine, it actually gives you a little intro. And it's probably one of the best little intros I've ever seen for a Linux distribution. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So what we're going to do now is get to that intro and then get to the desktop. Okay, so that was the intro. Pretty impressive, wasn't it? I like that. I like when people and developers take time to put the effort into making their distributions a lot more polished in the way they're presented and the way they look. Some of you out there probably don't care about that as much, but there are those of us out there that do. Now, when it finally gets to the desktop, you're introduced to the layout manager right off the bat. You can change everything here. You can change the overall look of the desktop. Then you can also adjust your desktop clock, panel and dock options, theme manager, wallpaper manager. Now, the first thing I want to do is kind of show you how easy it is to change your layout. Now, Makulu Shift is based on Ubuntu. So you're going to have the underlying structure of Ubuntu plus the software 
that you can use on Ubuntu. So it's based on a solid core. So that's something you don't have to worry about, especially if you're somebody that's new or if you're somebody that's presently using an Ubuntu-based operating system or Ubuntu itself. So Linux Mint, Ubuntu, things like that. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is we're going to go up here and you've got Windows Flash Core Dash Plasma Gnome Unity and Simple. Right now, based on the wallpaper, we're on Simple. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Windows and I'm just going to click on it. And as you can see, it changes everything over. You get a different look, you get different icons, you get a different wallpaper. And then if you come down here, you can go ahead and click on that. There is your application menu. You've got accessories, graphics, internet, office. And I like how you've got some transparency here. So it's not just throwing something on there to be different. It actually makes each different desktop unique and it makes it look good. I do like the transparencies. I do like the wallpaper. And then if you come down here, you've got your panels down here that's got all your information on it. And then you've got your pinned applications right here. So what we're going to do real quick, let's switch on over to Flash. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And it switches pretty quickly, actually. You get your new wallpaper. You get an overall different look on your bottom panel. I love the way this bottom panel looks. It almost looks like it starts lighter at the bottom and then fades towards the top. Just maybe an optical illusion, but I do like that. You have your pinned applications down here. And as you can tell, the icons have changed. Okay. And then you can go over here and you can click on the application menu and you get a different menu. And as you can see, all your applications are over here. You still have a little bit of the transparency in the background, but I do like the way this looks. I lean more towards darker themes. So that's just something a little different for me. So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to go up here and we're going to go ahead and click on the core layout. And that switches over to the core layout. And as you can see, your cursor changes. You have a spinning cursor now. And then if you move this out of the way, you can see it's got a beautiful wallpaper. You've got more of a dock-like experience right here. You've got your menu manager showing open up here. And then I believe you can open all your applications from right here if you want it that way. I do like that. And then if you come down here, you've got show applications, trash, menu manager, Play on Linux, Google Chrome, File Manager. If you wanted to, if I move this over, you could actually include the Pi menu. So let's go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, the Pi menu comes up right here. You've got utilities, sound and audio, and you can grab it in the dark area and drag it out of the way if you want, or you can just get rid of it. But it's always going to pop up in the center, and you can make it bigger if you would like. Now, this is something right here that if you do decide to download Makulu Shift, I would play around with a little bit. It's really fun, the different things you can do with it. And you can really just adjust it to where you want it and make it really work the way you want it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring the layout manager back over. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the dash layout. And I do really like this one because I do like the left side of the screen vertical panel. I would probably move it to the right because I'm right-handed, but it'd make it easier for me, but we're not going to pick at it that much. Um, but you can see the panels over here now. You get a brand new background. And then if you come down here, you can open your applications down here and you get more of a whole screen, just one big slide down for all your programs. And then you got accessories, graphics, internet, office, sound so everything's laid out over here you still retain the transparency which i really like i think that makes it look really good so i'm going to go ahead and close out of that i'm going to go ahead and bring this back down now we've opened the video with simple so we're going to go ahead and switch over to unity and when unity pops up as you can see right over here you get that old school feel that you used to get with ubuntu unity and you got all your applications right here. you got your single panel up top. So I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to GNOME. And as you can see, GNOME pops up. You've got a single panel at the bottom, so you're going to have more of an old GNOME feel to it. And when you open up your application menu, you're going to get the full screen right here. You can scroll through all your applications if you would like. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And we're going to take a look at Plasma. And Plasma pops up, and as you can see, your cursor has changed again. I don't think I'm a big fan of the big cursor, but you can adjust that. All you got to do is come down here. You can go to Theme Manager. 
you can go up here and say you wanted the just regular KDE cursor. Just click on it, close out of that, and you've got your old KDE cursor. So don't worry about that. I've had people in the past, especially about six months ago when I covered this distribution that said that icons are ugly and I was like, just go down here and change them. You have that power. But this is the Plasma desktop and you've got your panel down here. You go over here and you click on your applications and you've got your basic KDE applications menu. But that covers the eight layouts that come with it out of the box. Now, if you do want to donate to the project, you do get an additional eight desktop layouts. I'm not sure what those are. I will take a look at that and get back with you in a follow-up video. Now, what I want to do is just go back to simple because that's what we opened this video up with. Now, we are back to the simple desktop. I want to go ahead to the theme manager and I want to switch my cursor over. So, there it is right there. And while I'm here... I want to show you guys something real quick. If you look over here, you can see that you've got a color to your folders, which is basically a theme for your system. Now, if you come down here to these colors, you can change that. So let's say you wanted to go with yellow, just click on yellow and it will switch over to yellow. If you wanted to go to red, just click on red or purple or any other color that you might want to choose down here. Now, the only thing I think I would ask them to do in the future, which I think they would be working on because they've come leaps and bounds from where this project was about six months ago, is probably give us the option of in here just choosing the color we want to add. So maybe that's something they can do in the future. I don't know. We'll find out. So we can go ahead and close out of that. Then you've got theme manager we just looked at and then your wallpaper manager. You can select a wallpaper right here if you would like, if you want to do something different than what comes with it out of the box. And it has a choice of beautiful wallpapers for each different desktop layout. And as you can see, some of these go with specific layouts, but you can use them across any one that you want to choose. I'm going to go ahead and pick that one right there because I think that's a good looking one. And then, of course, you've got the Darth Vader Osaka background. I think I'm going to stick with that one. I like that. Now, one of the things I do like about Makulu Linux is out of the box, you're going to have Proton and Steam installed. Plus, it's going to come with wine and things like that. So if you go over to accessories, internet, office, you've got menu editor, you've got play on Linux, you've got Warpinator, wine tricks is already installed, graphics, internet, you've got Google Chrome. I don't really agree with that. But if you want to put something other than Google Chrome on here, it's real simple. You just uninstall Google Chrome and then go over to the software center and download something new, which I'm going to show you here shortly. And then you've got office. Sound and video, you got MPB player, Pulse Audio Control, VLC Media Player, System Tools, you got Bleach Bit, GW Package Manager. Now, if you're somebody that downloads Deb packages off the internet, you can do that. Download them. All you got to do is once they're in the download folders, right click, install with GW. It will open it up in this package installer and install it on your system for you. Let's go back over here to System Tools. There's where we were at. You do have HTOP. Now, let's go ahead and open up HTOP because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that will want to know what kind of resources we are using. And as you can see, I've got about 2.9 gigabytes issued to this machine of RAM. And we're using about a gig at rest with just the terminal open. Now, my comments are going to blow up. My God, this is heavy. Really, it's not. If you're presently running something like a Linux Mint or an Ubuntu, you're going to be running about the same. It's six of one, half a dozen of the other. You're going to have some systems that people want to run at two or 300 megabytes. And then you're going to have some systems that people want to customize or make look good that are going to run anywhere from 800 megs to 1.2 gigs. Just depends on what you like to live with. Look, at the end of the day, you're still using less RAM than what it takes to be open in Windows just for a desktop. That's about 2.7 gigabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the terminal. Come back over here to System Tools. You can scroll down. You've got a Grub Customizer. You've got your main menu. You've got a Menu Editor, Pi Menu, Power Statistics, Samba, Software Updater, Startup Applications. Then you do have Synaptic Package Manager. Now, I truly love Synaptic. It's real easy to use. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and full screen it so everybody can see. And then if you wanted to do a search for something, just come up here to a search. Type it in real quick right here. Close out of that, it'll pop up up here, select it, and install it. I've covered Synaptic plenty of times in the past, but if you have any questions on how to use Synaptic, please drop those in the comments below. 
Let's go ahead and close out of that. Come back up to System Tools. You also have Time Shift. Time Shift is very, very important to use, especially if you're somebody that makes a lot of changes to your system. All you got to do is open it up. And if you are running the BTRFS file system, all you have to do is come down here and click on that. If you're running anything else, just leave it on rsync, click next. What you'll have listed right here, I'm in a virtual machine, so it won't list, but it'll show the hard drive that your system is installed on. You just click on it, click next. It'll say, take a snapshot. You take your snapshot. It takes all of about 10 seconds. And then that way, should you have a problem in the future, you can always come back into time shift, click on that snapshot, restore your PC back to where it was in a stable state. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Let's come back up here to the system tools, VLC media player, wine tricks, universal access, utilities. And then if we come down here, you've got your file manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And I do like the look of the file manager. It's clean. It's simple. It's something that's easy to use. You got your usual suspects over here. You got your home folders right here. And one thing you will notice if you right click, open up your theme manager. And let's move this over. If you wanted to change your folders, they change on the home screen and they change in your file manager. So let's go ahead and open this back up here. And like I said, it's light. It stays out of your way. And this is Nemo 5.2.4. So those of you that are familiar with using Ubuntu based systems are probably really familiar with Nemo. So let's go and minimize that and close it. And then we're going to open up the software center. It'll take a second to populate. So we will give it that time. And once it has populated, let's go ahead and maximize this so everybody can see it. And we open it up. You've got your editor's picks, your recent releases, recommended audio and video. If you've used Ubuntu before, you're going to be familiar with the layout here. Plus, you've got installed updates that are due. And, you know, all you got to do is pick one. Let's pick Mailspring. And I know for a fact, I don't believe Mailspring is on the official repository. So if we come down here, it is using Snapcraft. So you'll be able to download something like Mailspring. And then if you go to Inkscape, scroll down, it's using Snaps as well. So that's pretty much where we're at. And if we go to Sources, does it let us change? There is a Flathub version. Okay, so I don't want to confuse y'all. You've got Inkscape. You can download it for Snap, but it's also available in the Flathub. It's also available from official repositories, Debian repositories. And then you have the Snap stores three times. Latest Stable. So you've got different ways to install certain applications. Like I know for a fact, if we go back over to Mailspring, that if we come up here, it's in the Snap Store only. That's what I thought because it's not available in the official repositories. So you'll be able to install it by official repository, Snaps, Flatpaks, whatever one you actually use and like to use. So that makes it pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And that pretty much covers the look at Makulu Shift. What do you think? Is this something you might download and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. I think if you're somebody that truly likes a change on a daily basis or maybe a weekly basis, but you don't like to put all the work in, I think Makulu Shift would definitely be for you. So if you do check it out, please let me know in the comments below what you think. If you enjoyed today's video, you can become a member right here on YouTube, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, buy us a coffee or throw us a donation on PayPal. If you like today's video, here's a couple more for you to take a look at. I generally cover Linux and open source. Sometimes I might do a little Windows bashing. Once again, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.